Welcome back, darlings. This is a Marilex pump sprayer. This is the foamer. That's the regular pump sprayer. These are by far and away the best pump sprayers on the market. They're certainly an awful lot better than IK pump foamers or sprayers. Apart from one thing, this charging handle is awful. And I have to say the IKs have got that one absolutely nailed. So that's the only advantage the IKs have got over these. Also, with an IK, some of them have the ability to put in a Schrader valve into them so you can then pressurize them using an air compressor or a foot pump or a hand pump. And I'm going to show you in this video how you can modify your Marilex or your Quasar to do exactly the same thing. Let's go and watch on, shall we? Now, to put a valve in, you're going to have to drill a hole. Now, don't worry about this. It's not a scary thing. You do it in the shoulders uh, and it's between the divots that you put your hands in. It's really thick plastic. The whole thing is anyway, because it's going to be pressurized, but it's not a problem to do. The important thing is you use a specific drill bit here. This is an 11 and a half mil drill. I'll put the link to that down below on Amazon. You're probably never going to use it for anything else, but it is exactly the one that's needed for this. Uh, and that is because that's what the valve stems need. It must be some weird conversion from an imperial size, I reckon whatever like three eighths of an inch or something stupid that the americans have anyway um once you've done that you will find you've got some swarf inside and some sharp edges don't worry about the swarf yet you're going to rinse it all out before you put any product back in but i'm going to show you something that i did do before i didn't film was making sure i was going to put the valve in the correct place so when it's all done up you want to see where the spout is and then choose a, a location in one of those shoulders which is not under the valve okay uh, the handle clears it no problem that's okay you won't have to worry about that especially with the ones that i've used so from that hole that was drilled there are some sharp edges uh, you can file them to smooth it off and also uh, i don't have it in the footage here but i had to use a standing knife blade to trim off some excess that i couldn't really get to with the file and once i'd done that i then filed it back down to make it nice and smooth and the reason for that is you don't want it to cut into the valve and you also want to get a good firm seal if it's sharp it could cut into the valve and therefore not hold air properly which would completely defeat the object of doing this wouldn't it so a little bit of judicious filing making sure you spend your time doing this because it's worth the effort once you've done that, you can start to sink, uh, think about seating the valve. Now, again, link to these below because these are the ones that I've got, which I mean, I know they're the right length and they're pretty strong and durable. There's quite a few different designs. I got one which had the sort of the base sort of built into it in the bulb. It wasn't screwed down from the outside. I thought it'd be better to have it all in one sort of unit. I don't know if I'm right on this, by the way. I don't know if it is better or worse. Uh, but what I can tell you is they are pretty robust and you are going to have a fight on your hand trying to get this to come through. Okay, so you do need some pliers and you can really pull and pinch them around without going through. You can see I'm using the finer teeth on the um, uh, pliers there to help get it in. I, at first I thought, oh, I'm going to break this, but I didn't. You know, and actually realize you can you just need to be firmer with it it's uh even at 11 mil it's quite a tight hole to get this bulbous um thing through at the bottom which again if you choose valves that screw down maybe they'll be better but these look to me like all one unit i thought they'd actually be better in terms of getting a good seal and so far that has been the case so once you've uh, finally got it through just a little bit more persuasion you think you're going to break them but you really don't and it's all nicely seated and you're all good to go. So once you've done that and you've rinsed out the, the bottle to get rid of all the swarf, it's time to test it, isn't it? Which means you're going to fill it up with some product. In this case, it's a bit of Koch Chemie 10 to 1 um, because that's what was in here originally. I just decanted it out. And then it is going to be a case of screwing on the top. You can see here now how it clears the valve, no problem. And the valve isn't in the way. So that's exactly where you want it on the side. You don't want it under the trigger because that will get in the way and you don't want it under the spout. So we sort it off there. Going to attach a pump. Now in this case, I'm just using a um, bicycle pump, but you could use your compressor. You could use a car tire inflator, whatever you like. But just to demonstrate it, this is what it looks like and how it works. So I'm going to pump it up and then 
I'm going to stop and you're going to you basically keep pumping until you hear the pressure release valve go. OK, so I'm going to stop talking. You're just going to hear it now when it kicks in. There you go. So that is the pressure release valve um, having blown, if that makes sense. So it's like, OK, don't pressurize any more than this. That is where you would pressurize too when if you were doing it pumping by hand. But there we go. Look at that. Nice, easy foam production. Now I don't really like the foam foamers myself, but it works well with the pump sprayers too. So what do you think? Pretty good, eh? Um, I say it works well for the pump foamer. It also works on the pump sprayer. It genuinely saves me time. I've got the compressor um, set up usually when I'm doing an interior anyway, so I can just pressurize these really quickly. You can use a foot pump. Um, one of the features I didn't mention or show you is that the reason these are so bad is the tops pop off. Now they store another nozzle inside, which is a useful feature, apart from these tops seem to um, pinch on your hand, you get blood blisters from them, which is really painful and annoying. But I've completely mitigated that now, uh, and they're absolutely fantastic. So all the links are down below if you want to get all the bits for it. Uh, again, you could do it on the Quasar ones as well. Doesn't just have to be these. Works just as effectively. Go knock yourself out and uh, save yourself a lot of hassle. Hope you've enjoyed that one. See you in the next one.